Hello, Lori Michelle Mashiach. Don't stop the thought train. Find a good destination instead. Good, godly destination. And this may sound like a strange message, but Hashem wanted me to talk about thinking. That every human being is required to think. You don't want to stop thinking, and a lot of people think it's a negative. Oh, you think too much. Oh, stop thinking or overthinking. You can't overthink. The problem that I see in the world with people all over the world is that you're not thinking enough. People are not using their minds and choosing and thinking before they act. They just knee-jerk reaction, and they say something stupid, and it causes a problem, and there it is, someone who's not thinking. The thought train is not evil, it's good. You need to be on a thought train, a train of thought, but it needs to be in a direction of goodness. And in every moment, we're all challenged to choose between good and evil in every moment and people around the world have no idea that this exists. This is Torah. The choice between being good and evil is a requirement. It is something that is built by Hashem, God, the King of the universe. He requires this of you in every moment and it's not that easy. It's not a given that you will choose goodness and God in every moment just because you believe in him. You need to know what's good or evil, and you need to know his laws. And there are people, rabbis, and all kinds of religious people who study his laws daily, and they still choose evil. That's how tricky it is. It needs to become your life work. You need to be a thinker, a thinker with a good destination in every moment. The best thing you can do for yourself and your children is to learn how to think and pause in every moment and teach your children to do the same thing. When my children were small, there was a book that I saw and I bought it. I didn't read the whole thing but it was called How to Raise a Thinking Child. And I thought, this is great. What a great title of a book. And the premise of the book was that your child isn't always going to be with you in every moment. That there are times when your child will be tested and they need to learn how to think on their own and make good choices. So how do they learn this? Right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and around the world, people are making horrible choices. Just turn on your smartphone and look at the news feed. It's terrible. People speaking out of turn, people protesting, destroying property. Who's thinking? Not many people are thinking. In moments you think and you choose goodness, but in the next moment, you may not be choosing goodness. And you may say, well, hey, I'm only human, and humans make mistakes, and that's true. But it's not good enough anymore. And you may be a very good, God-loving person, and in 24 hours, you may choose something that's not of God, not good, maybe only 20 minutes a day. And you might say, well, that's pretty darn good. And you know what? Multiply it. I'm not great with math, but take 20 minutes and multiply it by seven and a half billion people every day. And that's a boatload of minutes where someone is choosing something that's evil and not of God. And you may think, oh, well, that's just benign if it's someone speaking gossip. That's just a little sin. It's not a big deal. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a very big deal. And it's the reason why our world is spinning out of control right now. 
So you need to learn what's going on around you and within you. In every moment, you're required to think. Don't get off the thinking train, the thought train. Learn how to direct those thoughts and pause in every moment and ask yourself, is this good of God or is it the opposite? Learn to pause, learn to think. Teach your child how to think also. And get online. I sound like a broken record, right? If you don't know what a broken record is, then you're not as old as me. By this book, this explains the dynamic that's going on around you and within you in every moment. You're being tested by God, the king of the universe. He requires you to think. That's what separates you from animals. Man thinks and discerns and he tests you every moment and he doesn't make it easy for you. He wants to know what you're made of. He's testing your metal in every moment. And you can pass this test. He wants you to pass the test. He wants you to be good and of God in every moment. So learn to stay on that thought train and direct it towards him, God, goodness in every moment. God bless you. This is the work of world peace. When we're all thinking and pausing and choosing correctly, in every moment, we'll see a real shift in humanity, and we will bring peace to this world. God bless you.